Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. Let us discuss the concept of dividend payout ratio. Dividend means returns received by the shareholder from the company on their investment. Company earns profit from which dividends are paid first to preference shareholders at fixed rate and then to equity shareholders. In case of equity shareholders, whatever profit available for distribution to them, the whole amount is not given as dividend. Some part is given as dividend and some part is kept as reserves. This ratio shows us what part of earnings available to equity shareholders is kept by the company as reserves and the amount of dividend paid out of profit. Let us understand this concept. Dividend payout ratio shows the relationship between dividends paid to equity shareholders out of the profits available to equity shareholders. Dividend paid to equity shareholders divided by profit available to equity shareholders multiplied by 100. Dividend to equity shareholders means cash dividend paid to equity shareholders. Profit available to equity shareholder means net profit after interest, income tax and preference dividend. That is net profit after tax minus preference share dividends. Functions purpose. Dividend payout ratio is a type of coverage ratio. A coverage ratio shows the relationship between profits and the claims of outsiders to be paid out of such profits. Its purpose is to measure the dividend paying capacity of the company. Actual ratio, its interpretation and comments. Actual ratio, dividend payout ratio of X percent indicates that on every equity share of rupees 100, an average dividend of rupees X is paid out of profit available for equity shareholders. And an amount of rupees 100 minus X is available for transfer to reserves etc. For example, dividend payout ratio of 30% indicates that on every equity share of rupees 100, average dividend of rupees 30 is paid out of profit available for equity shareholders and amount of rupees 70 that is 100 minus 30 is available for transfer to reserves. Actual ratio close to standard. There is no standard dividend payout ratio because it depends upon the dividend policies of the companies. Each concern has to determine its own standard ratio based on its past ratios, ratio of other concern in same industry and the average for the entire industry. An actual dividend payout ratio close to such company standard shows optimum dividend paying capacity of the company. That is sufficient dividends paid to keep the equity shareholders happy. Sufficient profits flow back that is retained for financing the growth or for issue of bonus shares in future out of reserves kept. Scope to attract fresh funds by rights issue, public issue of equity shares. As sufficient dividends are paid, if a company can attract more capital, a good price for equity share if traded on stock exchange or in case of merger. Actual ratio higher than the standard. An actual dividend payout ratio much higher than such company standard shows a very good dividend paying capacity of the company. That is very high dividend paid to make the equity shareholders very happy. But profits retained by may not be sufficient for financing the future growth as available earnings are majoritarily distributed as dividend less amount will be remained for transfer to reserves that is for financing future growth 
scope to attract fresh funds for short term investors a good price for equity share if traded on stock exchange or in case of merger actual ratio lower than standard an actual dividend payout ratio much lower than such company standard shows a low dividend paying capacity of the company that is very low dividends paid which makes the equity shareholder bit unhappy but profits return may be sufficient or large for financing future growth for such as for issuing bonus shares etc scope to attract fresh funds from long term investors if retain profits are large let us discuss this concept with one small problem from the following details calculate dividend payout ratio net profit after tax 2,25,000 8% preference share capital 2 lakhs paid up equity share capital rupees 10 per share paid amount is 10 lakhs equity dividend at the rate of rupees 1 per share paid up equity share capital of rupees 10 per share paid total amount is given 10 lakhs each share is of rupees 10 10 lakh divided by 10 so number of equity shares are 1 lakh equity shares equity dividend rupees 1 per share One lakh equity shares multiplied by rupees one per equity share. So total amount of equity dividend is rupees one lakh. Dividend for equity shareholders amount is one lakh divided by profit available for equity shareholders. Now net profit. After tax 2,25,000, 8% preference share capital amount is 2 lakhs. So preference dividend will be 2 lakh multiplied by 8%, that is rupees 16,000. Net profit after tax. 2,25,000 minus preference dividend 16,000 so we get profit available for equity shareholders 1 lakh divided by 1 dividend for equity shareholders rupees 1 lakh profit available for equity shareholders 2 lakh 9000 multiplied by 100 it comes to 47.85 percent in this video we have learned the concept of dividend payout ratio that is a relation between equity shareholders earnings and dividend paid by the company to those equity shareholders Thanks for watching this video. 
Stay in tune with Ikeda and subscribe to our channel Ikeda. Thank you.